everyone and welcome to Cook Like a Dadima. Today I am delighted to introduce a very special Nanima, Nanima Manjit. And Nanima and Dadima both mean grandmothers, just so that you know. And we're going to be cooking my all time favourite pudding growing up. It is packed with symbolism, religious symbolism, humble dish, full of flavour. And this time it has got a twist. So, what are we making today, Nanima? Hello everyone, today we're going to make uh, Kla Prashad, and, uh, which is a dairy-free vegan Kla Prashad. Wow, perfect. And who was the inspiration for this dish? It's uh, my grandson, because uh, he's got um, the dairy allergy, allergy to dairy. Aww. So, we are going to be using some very humble ingredients here. So yes. we've got some butter, dairy-free butter, dairy-free butter, and uh, sugar, sugar, and semolin, and uh, a bit of atta in there. Yeah, and uh, plain water. Yeah. And you don't measure, do you? You don't use weighing scales. You use the same metric yes. measurements, yes. a bowl for everything. Yeah. And you may be wondering why we've got our heads covered. Yes, why is uh, why is that? It's a sign of respect. And uh, whenever we made this kalapa shot must cover your head. Covering our head and you mentioned it's all about the positive energy that we're creating through yes. through the hymns that you chant as well. Yes, uh, when you make your Kalapashad you can say Satnam Vai Guru and uh, that'll bring uh, lots of blessing and uh, positive energy. That's beautiful. And uh, you make it with lots of love and care and uh, just... Uh, That's the secret ingredient. Yes. So how, how do we go about making this? What is going to be our first step? Our first step is going to be a butter. Which okay. Is, uh, we're going to take... Take this over to... To the kurai. We okay. go kurai here. Okay. And we're going to melt the butter. Okay. That's our first ingredients. Perfect. First of all, when we make kurai shad, melt the dairy-free butter in a heavy based pan over the low heat. Okay. And we're using a nice big kadai for this. Yes, that's a nice traditional kadai which uh, everyone makes klapa shad in. Okay. Uh, then in a separate saucepan, heat the sugar and water over the low heat and let it simmer until sugar has dissolved. Okay, and this is going to be our sugar syrup. Yes, jani. Jani. Yes. And uh, then we stir the semolin and the atta into a butter until it becomes golden brown. Beautiful. And you mix the semolina and the atta together, don't you? Is it for the texture? You like the texture that it gives? It gives a nice, a lovely taste. Mm, it really does, yes. with the atta. Okay, next yes. step. Um, you have to keep on stirring over a low heat until the butter separates from the atta. Okay, and how do you know when the butter separates from the atta? Is it the little kind of bubbles or it becomes... Yes, it starts um, showing little bubbles or um, uh, it kind of uh, gets very like smooth in paste. Yes, and then the other trick is obviously the aroma. Yes, you, you can, can smell, smell nice aroma and the whole house will smell that my you're mom, making a crap shot. Yeah, <laughs> my mum always says that. She says when the, when the atta's done you should know because the whole house will smell of it. Yes. Keep on stirring until semolin is cooked. Okay. And uh, this is when it is uh, aromatic and a smooth, smooth comes like in you a just smooth said. texture. Yeah, perfect. And once the sugar has completely dissolved in the water, pour the mixture into the semolin and the atta. And you have to be very careful because it's going to be very hot. Of course. Sometimes it splashes. Splashes out. Yes. So the next thing, we keep on stirring until it comes together, nice and thick. Okay. By this stage, a little bubble and little the butter, butter will bubbles. release and the krapasha kra should glide around that the That is pan. magical. That's the best. That is the magic when it glides around. Yes. And that's, that's how I make my vegan kra. Oh, that has been an absolute honour to watch you make this, Nanima. So I, I can't, can't wait, wait to try it. Me too, I can't wait to try it. Wow, and the smell, like you said, the aroma filled the whole house. It does. It, it does. smelled absolutely amazing. So 
what is our ritual before we try this blessed food? Yeah, we would say it's Wai Guru Da Shukriya, Satnam Wai Guru. And uh, we are blessed to make this Grappa Shad today. Thank you. Would you like to try some? I would love to try some. I've been dying to. So normally we would have it like yes, this. So, I'll just, uh, so just a tiny little bit. Thank you. And this is how it's this, traditionally served yes, in the, uh, in the, the Gudwara. Gudwara yes. This is how I have memories as a child eating yes. this. And I would always ask for seconds. Yes, <laughs> we all do. <laughs> okay. okay. We're going to try some. We're going to try some. Mm. Absolutely delicious. That is amazing. It's divine. It is completely divine. Mm -hmm. <laughs> wow. Uh, it tastes so nice. That brings back so many childhood memories. Memories, yes. When we were little, we used to go to the Gurdwara just to get Pashad. I used to go as well. And we used to, after we had after we had it on our hands, we used to rub the oil together. Rub, like yes. This. Yes. <laughs> so Nanima, can you tell us? I'm sure everyone at home will want to know what is the story behind your adaptation to Kra? It's uh, the story behind this is my grandson yeah, and uh, because he had an allergy to dairy. So every time we took him to the Gurdwara, we had to distract him, uh, either me, myself or family members Aww. because uh, he couldn't able to eat. And he's only little, isn't he? Yes. He's only coming up to three now. So that made me very sad. Of course. It made me very upset because we were all enjoying Grabashad at the Gurdwara. Whilst he couldn't have any. Yes. So that's how I created this recipe, uh, especially for Arman. And, and the then, first time he tried it, what was it like? It was um, at my daughter's house. They had an occasion. So the Gyaniji came from the Gurdwara for the blessing. So we made the uh, first time Rapashad for Arman. So he was so happy that time that he's been served by Gyaniji on his little and hands. And you said that he takes it in his on hands. On his little hands. And he, then he says a prayer himself because yes, he knows that it's... And then he done a matta take and uh, it was just amazing to see him. And uh, I think those moments was very magical moments. That is the magical moment seeing him sitting down and eating his grappa shard. I could uh, eat this all day. I could finish off this and, whole pot. Um, those uh, moments was very special for me and uh, I think they will stay forever in my heart. That's beautiful. And I think mm. that's a story which will warm the hearts of yes. all of our listeners as well. So uh, I'm sure everybody will try this grappa shard. I'm and sure they enjoy will. with your grandchildren, with their family. Of course. And it's a dish which needs to be shared, isn't it? Yes. It's and it's a dairy which... free. And uh, whoever is having uh, this allergy, I'm sure they They'll can They'll appreciate it. Yes. And I also want to share with everyone that you're not just here making gra in your kitchen all day. You, <laughs> you make you make so many other delicious Indian recipes. You, The first time we met, I could tell that you were a feeder. You are a feeder. You made me a delicious spread of lunch. We were just meeting. You made chole, baniz, salad, aloo tikkis. What is it about cooking for other people that you love so much? It's just, um, I love cooking. And it gives me um, pleasure cooking for other people and for my family. And um, when I cook food, I don't cook for two people or one person. I just cook for... Um, cook for everyone. For everyone. And uh, when I do my cooking and I always think who I'm going to give this, who I'm going to share this food today with. So whilst you're cooking, you think of those people yes. and you give your... Yes, I give it to my neighbours, my work colleagues. It's just uh, me, that's my personality. Well, thank you so much for sharing this beautiful recipe with us and for sharing your kitchen with us, for, for sharing it with all of our listeners. I'm sure that everyone is going to love making this dish at home. Thank you so much for having me. Aww. And it was my pleasure. Oh, thank I think you. I'm so blessed. Oh, mm. me too. I've got another nanny ma. <laughs> I've inherited another <laughs> nanny ma. <laughs> thank you so much. Thank you. And thank you so much to everyone at home for watching. Please, please cook this dish as an indulgent treat for yourselves and share it with your loved ones. They are going to love it.
Thank you. I really hope you enjoyed watching today's episode of Cook Like a Daddy Ma with Nani Ma. Make sure to subscribe for more episodes of Cook Like a Daddy Ma. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.